guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am back with another episode of Stencil Play. And today I am playing with our May uh, Stencil of the Month from the Stencil of the Month Club, which is super fun because you get a new 12 by 12 stencil to play with every single month. And I have a fun time playing along with them too. So this month is a set of three that are meant to be layered together to give you this kind of like confetti looking background. And I thought it would be really fun rather than confetti to use it on this layout for mini golf. Um, so I have this situation where I have pictures from Glow Golf that are very dark, like they are very blue in color. Uh, just because you're in the room with like the black lights and the glow in the dark balls and golf clubs and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to go with a pretty white base background because I want my pictures to still stand out, even though they're not the best pictures in the world. So I've gone ahead and taken a sheet of white cardstock and taped it down to my desk. And then I am taping my first stencil layer. So there are three. And what I did is I went through my pictures and picked out colors that were not the dark blue, but were other kind of neon colors that were in the photos. So one of them that stood out was this neon green. And so I went ahead and chose that for my first color. And with this stencil, I'm just blending some Simon Hurley ink into all of the like confetti holes. And then I'm taking a coordinating marker and I'm just doodling inside each of those openings. So I'm just kind of putting an edge around my confetti dots using that green pen. So I want all of the color to be kind of monochromatic. But when I pull this stencil off, you'll be able to see that you can, you can see that outlining I did. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And it adds a little bit of a different dimension to the layout. So then I'm going to go ahead and save my washi tape on the back of my hand because, you know, the back of your hand is just the place for the things to go while you're creating. And then I'm going to move on to stencil layer number two. So in this one, the confetti dots are in different places than they were in the first one. So as soon as I go to add them in this color, they're going to be offset of the other ones. Now, some of them overlap, some of them are totally offset, and I love that so much because it makes it super easy to get this layered, like really full kind of cool background. So if you haven't played with layered stencils, I highly recommend it. If you haven't joined the Stencil of the Month Club, I highly recommend that too, because it's only 10 bucks a month and it's free shipping and we have so much fun. So if you are interested in that, you can go over to the website, which is Redefine Creative, creative with a K.com and put yourself on the waiting list. So now what I'm going to do, and this will work with any stencil. It does not have to be these. Please pull out any stencil in your stash. Now I'm stamping. So this time, instead of drawing around my circles, I am adding this text stamp. And this is from Bow Bunny. And I took it off of the acrylic block intentionally because it makes it a little easier to press down into those areas of my stencil um, so that I'm getting a nice, good impression inside the circles. So that's why I took it off the acrylic block, if you were wondering. And then I'm going to go through the same step I did before. So I'm going to take this stencil off and see how the dots are all in different places. And I love that, you guys. All right, so now I have stencil number three. And this time, instead of going with ink, I'm going to go with some glitter glaze. Because this is a really fun, like, psychedelic, kind of crazy layout. This is the perfect place for glitter glaze. So I'm taking this black glaze that has all of this really bright confetti and there's some green confetti in there and it just, it matches perfectly with the colors and the feel of this layout. So I'm just going to add that to my third layer. So now this layer is again going to be offset and in a different spot than my green and my orange and it's really creating that full background. So the stencils itself are meant to be like a little more full at the top and then look like it's falling confetti. But I have three three by four pictures that are going to go on here. So I kind of know where those are going to go towards the middle. And so that the confetti pattern is going to make sense because there's this light area in the middle and that's right where my photos are going to go. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off the outside of my layout because it is now going to spend a little bit of time drying. And once it is dry, it's gonna have that cool little glittery finish. I did not make my dots like completely solid on purpose because I liked that kind of funky little bit of a look. And I'm trying really hard because you know me, you guys, I hate waiting for drying time. So that glitter glaze is not like entirely dry, but it's good enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a sheet of black cardstock just to kind of make everything pop. And I love having it kind of offset or tilted a little bit. So it's, I don't know, it's just a little bit different. So then I'm gonna go ahead and take a blue marker and I'm adding some little plus signs to my background. And this is just to tie in the blue that's in my photos because they are very blue and I don't really have any other blue on the layout. So then I'm gonna go ahead and tear some washi that's got this blue color and create a little shelf for my photos to sit on and it's not gonna be perfect and that's okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add another little piece of that torn washi in the middle. And then my two outside photos are gonna sit on top of the washi and then that middle one, because it's up a little bit higher than the other two, is gonna have a little border of washi down on the bottom. So I kinda of did something different with both of them. And then I have this little scrap of blue on my desk, so I'm gonna tear it into two pieces to go on each side of my photos. And then I also have this little plaid piece and the whole plaid piece won't necessarily work, but it's orange and lime in sections. So I just cut out some little pieces of the orange and lime part and use those to kind of tuck under my photos as well. And then I'm trying to find the perfect alpha, which if you watch me on Facebook Live, you know that me finding my alphas is like a constant struggle. Uh, so while I was looking for those, I ran across these little silver glitter sticky frames from ThermoWeb. It's something that they had given us at retreat and I've used them a few different times. So I went ahead and just took the scallop edge off and used them in my kind of photo mat embellishment areas. So then I'm gonna go ahead and use these lime green glittery alphas to say glow golf. And I had originally bought these for some Disney pages, but they work perfectly for this too. Um, so if you have, glow golf pictures, which I know some of you must because my kids cannot be the only ones obsessed with glow in the dark golf. Um, these lime green kind of uh, glittery letters are perfect. All right, so I'm taking some of the zeros because I often do not use the numbers on my sticker sheets and I'm kind of bending them a little bit so they look more like circles and I'm using them to put around just a few scattered uh, circles on my background and it's just adding some texture and dimension. So this is not a step that you would have to do I just think it looks kind of fun to add that little extra texture And then I added a couple of the little stars from that pack into my embellishment areas as well um, I do still need to come back and do a little bit of journaling down there on the bottom is kind of my plan But I am going to add some splatters So I have this kind of neonish green and then I'm also going to bring in some black just to kind of tie everything together. Now there are not a whole lot of embellishments on this page and I'm good with that because I did that really fun stencil work and I wanted to show. And my photos are pretty busy, so I really don't need a ton of embellishment to pull the layout together. And so that is kind of a tip that I have for working with, you know, these not so great pictures that might be kind of dark or kind of busy Give this a try and I will see you guys really soon. Bye everybody.